This will be a cold start and walk around video of our immaculate 30,000 mile one owner 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider. Uh, it's a warm October day here in Chicago. It's about 75 degrees right now. Uh, we're going to do some engine temp readings to show you that it is indeed cold. Uh, just pushed her out of her spot under the lift there in the garage. Out into the driveway. So we'll go ahead and walk around, look at the really immaculate condition of the paint before we open her up and start her. So she is not perfect, but pretty close. Uh, note all of the bright work, uh, even the painted bumper surfaces are really just unbelievably original, as you can imagine, uh, with that kind of miles. So uh, very, very few flaws on this. Uh, really one of the only things is just some very, very light delamination here of the windshield. I don't know if you can see it in the glare, but it is just on the very, very uh, edge and goes up maybe four or five inches or so up against it. Other than that, um, as you see all of original etched glass from the factory uh, and everything really just in superb condition, even these original uh, stickers, if you can see that as well, uh, right below the object's lettering. But yeah, handles, bright work, uh, badging, wheels really, everything is just in outstanding condition. So, um, take one more slow loop around here. One of the very, again, very few things that has any kind of wear at all is uh, the black, uh, the back glass does have just a very, very fine film. Uh, when you're inside the car, it almost looks like uh, it's it's steamed up. I made some attempts just to wipe it down uh, with just a terry cloth yesterday, did get some of it off. So we'll see about getting maybe some conditioner and see if we can get the rest of that off. It shouldn't be. Uh, hopefully a big deal uh, top condition very 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 good condition just a, a couple of spots maybe look like they were rubbed a little bit zealously uh, when it was being washed other than that the top itself um, fantastic original condition so washed her up yesterday did not get a drop of water inside um, seals are all very very soft to the touch if I remember I'll come around and show that once we've uh, fired her up but uh, let's go ahead and go on in and everything controls the handles everything is just absolutely crisp everything opens and closes as you would imagine a car with 30,000 miles uh, interior condition again commensurate see everything we shot it uh, lots and lots of pictures but just to kind of give you a live look let me go ahead and open up the trunk you see here we have uh, fuel release and a trunk release so let me uh, also open the fuel door show you how crisp that is and then the uh, trunk release pops right up no assistance uh, needed to hold it up and there's a look of the absolutely immaculate uh, trunk carpeting uh, see the alpha embossed I'm not sure if embossed is the right word or uh, but you see the alpha logo there uh, in the back and even though lots of pictures taken, I'll just go ahead and open this up for you and show you 
original jack and tool kit. So, and she closes just as gently here. I'll grab it with two fingers. And now before I just, again, show you the hardware, show you how excellent the condition everything is in. Uh, original paint sticker is there. So we go with two fingers, just bring it down and she's shut. And there is our fuel door. Original stickers there as well. And same, show you. And that is closed. So we'll go ahead and hop on in here. Actually, we'll uh, release the hood. Same, very crisp. Open it up. And there's the immaculate engine compartment. Ahead and prop it open. Do a quick walk around to that. Sorry, we got a little bit of construction going on next door. Really, almost every single thing still has its original. Factory stickers, you can see factory pen marks. You can see that there under the under that sticker. I mean, really, everything, the original paint on the bolts um, it is truly a time capsule in almost every respect. So, go ahead and take a quick temp reading. Uh, just to show you everything's ambient and the car hasn't been started. So like I said, it's about 75 degrees. Uh, ground temperature, 83 and change. Even, it is black, 92 degrees on the paint. And here is the cam cover. Cam cover is at 75 degrees. So we are cold. There's the manifold. Manifold 78 degrees, so we are absolutely ambient. So coming in here, I'll have you note a couple of really interesting things. Uh, things that you just would not expect to find on anything uh, that wasn't in this kind of condition. But um, just let me go ahead and shut the door just to show you how absolutely dead silent it is in here. Um, it's just utterly quiet, even though it's a convertible, um, it's just so quiet. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn the key to the on position. You will hear two buzzers kick in. Um, and then once we start, one of them will go away and the other one will go away a little bit after that. So we'll go ahead and make sure she's in neutral and we will just go ahead and fire her up. All your lights. That is it. Notice, no foot on the gas, no assistance. It is electronic fuel injected. And it will go ahead and work itself in there. And you will notice here is now the second buzzer when I open the door. So that would be the door open buzzer. absolutely impeccable dash I have all the vent doors closed but they're they're all in perfect working order rotate as well defogger vents same easily rotate through here's it is does have power windows so we'll go ahead and bring this guy down and 
up. Same speed both ways. Go this guy. All the controls, everything is crisp. Showed pictures of the lighter, but obviously the our owner, not a smoker. I mean, it literally looks like the day it came out of the factory. But everything. All the controls, like new. Air blows cold. Take some temp readings maybe a little later or in another video. Clock works beautifully, display is excellent. Slides, both slides are just very, very smooth. And our secondary uh, defog fan also works very, very well. Speed one, speed two, and the light on the dash matches there is your high, there's your low, and then watch this beautiful fade when I turn it off. It's just fantastic. We'll go ahead and come back outside, take a listen to the engine and the exhaust. bit of water temp here. Oil pressure just fantastic even at an idle as you would imagine with this kind of mileage. Let's see it comes up a bit when we rev. And we will go ahead and shut her off. Even that is silky smooth.